Hey guys, it's Gur here, and you may have seen me from my previous Garrus guys on Dash Fight, but for those who don't know, I'm Gur, and I'm a competitive MK11 player who's been competing in the FGC for over six years. And today, I'm going to show you how to fight one of the most underrepresented characters in the game, the hardened war veteran himself, John Rambo. But before we begin, be sure to hit the bell and subscribe to Dash Fight and visit the website www.dashfight.com for all things FGC. Let's get into it. I'm your worst nightmare. Let's get into some of his normals. He's gonna seven frame down one, but an eight frame st standing one. And that's actually gonna be really important, which I'm gonna get into later into his weaknesses. But so yes, he actually has some pretty decent mids. His forward one, 11 frames, as well as his back two. And this leads into a whole combo. The other one, not so much, but it has, it's going to have its different uses. Um, let's see. So we have his kick attacks. His forward three is pretty, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it moves him forward. Good for some punishes. Um, 16 frames, but it, it is a high, so if they duck it, it will, it will be a punish. But his back three also has some really just decent range. Can go for a follow-up. The follow-up is safe on block. Um, try to stagger it. Um, let's usually you see Rambo players try to stagger a lot of their buttons. So they go for like a, a back three or forward one and try to press. So we will definitely get into that later because a lot of the frame data. Make sure that you can take your turn back. So you see in the bottom left, a lot of it's not as, it's not plus, but because of the block stun, it, it makes it look really deceiving. So just make sure to take your turn um, after those attacks, but we'll, we'll get into how to recognize those sequences. But for special moves, very unique. But we're going to go for this base special moves first before we get into the variation. Because he has a lot of moves to work around with. So we have Hunting Bow. And this is actually a very special projectile because it's actually a stance. So you see when he gets into his little stance right here. The, the player has to hold the button down to get into the stance. And you can just fire these immediately. And you can have up to three arrows with each stance. So you can release them all at once. And as you see, they, they combos. I actually messed that up a bit. It does have a little bit of a timing. There you go. You see it all combos into each other. If you do it in a sequence, you can also do it in between or two or in cancel or just one and that let go. It's very, very unique special move. Also, the, I don't know if you noticed, the arrow is hard to see, which is kind of a, a benefit to Rambo, but this is something you have to get used to. But yes, it is definitely one of the more, uh, better projectiles because Rambo is more of a counter zoning in your face character, or he's just pure, pure zoning. If you just want to move back and waste time, if you have the life lead, um, another move he has is his savage slide, which is a low attack. And this is definitely, we're, we're going to break this down for the weaknesses because a lot of players or just regular random Rambo players like to use this uh, for mix-ups. They see the string. It is an overhead. And sometimes they like to use the low instead. Instead of the overhead. Or they do this move instead of the overhead. Because he has a lot of overheads. And that... And also, I forgot a normal that's really, really good on him is his forward four. This is actually an overhead. And has a crushing blow, similar to Aaron Black's forward four, if it helps you remember. You hit two of these in a row. So one, he has to hit the next one. 
in a row because if you do if he does anything else the crushing blow won't trigger he has to do the drop kick once again and it has to land for it to trigger the crushing blow so this is his basic mix-ups so if you do it down one normally it would be a, a strike throw or down one into an or um you actually cannot punish this unless you have like very specific uh flawless block attacks so let's let me see if I can make him do a uh, flawless block on auto. You see, it still has pushback. You actually can't punish it. So that's one of the things about Rambo, one of the safer uh, mix-ups you can do. Um, unless your opponent has like a really long range uh, up three, like Shao Kahn uh, or up two. So I can't even test that right now. If we go to Omni Strike. Look at that. Just whiffs clean right through. Let's try the up three. It just whiffs. But again, this is very specific. Maybe it's Robocop. If you have a better up three or up two, make sure to use that one instead. But if you read this, you just have to block. I am negative 11. Oh, it's just normal. No block attack. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's negative 11, even with flaws block. So, I can't move my turn, but I am safe. So, just be aware of that. As I mentioned earlier, one of Rambo's uh, main zoning and counter zoning tools, we have his whip trap. So, it's like a miscreen, sort of a little projectile or attack and there's only two versions of it if it reminisces of garris's sand trap where it covers like a lot of the screen in a neutral but uh difference is this is a mid so you don't have to block low for this attack uh, as you see um only two versions a close version and a far version and this is really this is really good to get the hits on if they're not used to uh getting on you they're more likely to get hit by this, get knocked down, and it still give you more space. You see, it gives you full screen just for that knockdown. So, really nice to do. Um, some characters can punish this on block, which I will show examples for that later. Um, yeah, but this is, this is really good. It's definitely one of the better moves. Also, a, a benefit to this is that you have to know is that Rambo crouches down when he does his move. So, if you're a character that a throws a projectile oh I got time it he ducks right under that hold on so see so you actually cannot take trades it's like a favorable trade normally if you throw a projectile it would be a favorable trade but because he crouches down you see he just goes But yeah, that's that's a really great example. If a character has a high projectile, you have to really be careful throwing this out against Rambo in, in the neutral or full screen because he he can he's able to punish you for that without leaving him uh, exposed for that projectile. But the way to counter this actually is if you have a well, at least if I can bring it up, if you have a mid projectile, a mid or low projectile. Uh, like Katana's low fan or Robocop's low shot. It trades. He actually does not go under it. Something to keep in mind when you're selecting your loadouts against Rambo. You actually cannot duck right under that and he'll take the trade as normal. So just be aware of that. It's very, very crucial, crucial uh, knowledge point. So this variation of his snare trap and shoulder roll is what I per personally like to use on Rambo. But as you see, there's so many ways you can play Rambo and have his loadouts. It's all about learning the individual special moves. Because this snare trap is two slots, is a launcher. 
and it puts his op opponents in the air for a combo can take some trades in the zoning war and we'll get into that later and as well as a shoulder roll for more mobility he does lose savage slide for for a roll attack that he has up to like diff different options depending on how you use it and also uh, a really damaging crushing blow but I think some of the Rambos uh, that I, I've seen, like some uh, good players use the very mix-up heavy one, which is the food bar, is the command grab, leopard crawl, which is a stance that also has a command grab, which and as well as a parry. And let's see the, yes, and the commando variation. It has different strings. So it has command grabs uh, within these strings. But, you know, this is very uh, pretty easy to avoid, but we'll get into the weaknesses. But this is a very common one because it's very just very mix-up heavy, very offensive um, variation. But then we have the zoning variation. Let me see if I can find it here. That I use. It could be artillery strike, claim more, and MRE. If they don't have MRE, you can also use uh, M60. I know some players use that and or the mace trap which is like a, a big version of the s snare trap that he uses and yeah honestly like i feel like there's so many there's not one specific loadout that a lot of rambo players use other than the mix-up version it's just there's just so many ways to use it to use these moves and that's just what i mean about the most underrepresented character in the game it's just um, we haven't really seen a lot of these loadouts come into play on, on the highest level, but um, if you see it online, you, you want to make sure that you know and have knowledge of these moves because he, uh, if you don't know how to fight against it, then Rambo can get away with a lot of, uh, of gimmicks. So let's move on to his weaknesses. So a general weakness with Rambo is that a lot of his normals... He's very, very short range uh, normals for the character. He has to really throw himself out. And has to really go in to get his offense started. But if you keep him at a distance, like, you're going to have to force him to just go in. Or at least force him to use whip trip. So he's not really known for, like, his long range attacks. This is probably, like, his, long, like, his longest range. Like, max range. Um, but another weakness that Rambo has is that his punishes are very, uh, pretty weak on the weaker side of things in terms of, uh, damage. So, his fastest string will limit you like 11% or, um, 16% if you use meter, which is not a lot. And the thing is, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, is that Savage Slide does have a crushing blow if you hit it three times. So let's just say, you know, you have to spend two bars and then the third Amplified will get you a crushing blow. But even then, you know, it's 29%. It's, it's, it's not the worst. Unbreak it's a breakable damage, but it is a crushing blow that you can only use once. That has a very lengthy requirement. So let me just take off for now. So let's just say Robocop, we just use his... 4322 strength, which is minus 10. So this is minus 10. You know, a lot of characters can punish it. If I can actually get it, let's see. There you go. Like 11%. Just for his fastest punish, 16% for a bar. So, and you can't use forward one or back two because it is 11 frames it can't punish minus 10 and even if you use you give you standing two but it's only 12 percent and it doesn't even go into a combo so you see it doesn't, it doesn't even combo into it so uh, generally his punishes are very weak so if you even do something unsafe on rambo um not not super unsafe but like let's say like minus nine or minus ten you can actually just get away with not taking a lot of damage which is kind of very significant because, you know, in this game, you really want really good punishes that can hit you a lot of damage because it'll, 
it will incentivize the opponent not to do those kinds of moves and again if you, you don't even have slide if you don't even have slide to uh, extend the punish so let's see we can load in this other variation if you don't even have slide you have the leopard crawl even then it takes away your punish takes away your options you have to rely on just doing mix-ups that don't even do a lot of damage so that's a uh i would say another weakness that ramos has some of his, his mix-ups don't net him a lot of damage itself so you see if you go over the command grab they don't jump is it is 10 percent and if you do the just a regular grab you don't have meter with rambo that's nine percent which again for a command grab it's like in this game it's not a lot if you compare to garish's command grab koro's command grab even kano's command grab where they have so much damage you can amplify you, you can amplify this give you 50 percent but if you're in the corner keep in the corner you lose damage for that so that's another thing to keep in mind is that it's just if you notice it's just low damage and compared to characters that have low damage like cetrion and jade the thing is they have safety but rambo does not have uh that kind of safety compared to those characters which we'll get into is like his he has a lot of strings that have gaps in them which i will cover uh shortly it's just the amount of gaps that he has let me see if i can Stance. Look at that. Um, this is also has a gap in it, but you do need meter to punish it. Um, just a lot, a lot of just a lot of gaps in there. That is just again, it's just one of the things that adds up that makes him kind of a harder character to win with on a high level and. So you're really relying on gimmicks and knowledge checking the ca uh, the opponent because you know again not a lot of people fight Rambo, so there's just a lot of you can get away with and but I'm gonna show you some of the ways on how to punish those things and just be aware of this so you don't uh, give away wins to the opponent to the Rambo player I should say. So Rambo's gaps when we cover his gaps really quickly let's see um his forward one his four one two it is his one of his faster mids it leads into a combo but as you see in the bottom left it is minus three you block that and he is there's so much time to punish it like that is definitely one of the most unsafe strings in the game look at how much time like if you the moment you block this it's like you can do whatever you want um you can even get a crushing blow. It's like one of the freest punishes in the game. You can't really miss it. Even like some more unsafe than like some fatal blows. But as an example, that's that's something you don't want to see. You, you can't let them get away with this because it's just so unsafe. You shouldn't really uh, let Rambos use this on you a lot. You recognize he's doing it, but you know, alternatively, he can also do 412, not confirm, which is minus seven. And again, it's not it's not plus, and it's not barely negative either. Once you see it, it's you can really just take your turn back, and he has to play your game, strike throw. But another thing is, this actually has a gap. So if you're really gonna do that. You have meter free punish right there just for using the string and it's very crucial that you actually do punish this if you recognize it it may take some practice and a bonus note let me do the full string here if he does the full string he actually cannot use the full string if you flawless block it see so it's not really there's no there's no mix up or checks right here. So that's one of his main main gaps. The second string I will show is going to be Diddy Bopping. This could be it's minus one. This is the overhead. So it turns to minus six. It's a punish right there. So yeah, you have meter. Can't let him do that. 
can even do an up three. Just to punish it. But you do definitely do need the meter if you have it. Alternatively, he can also do 2-2-1 two, two, to cover the gap. But as you see in the bottom left, it is minus 11. So, full combo punish. You can even do like, if you have a 10 frame, normal. Go with that punish as well. Um, but they can special cancel this move instead. So you just go with the punish or projectile. Some characters can have better punishes for the slide as well, but I'll get into the slide because there are different ways that Rambos can use the slide. But that is another, just one of the gaps you can punish and force them to use other strings that are relatively unsafe. So just be aware of that. Here's another string you can punish. It's for one, two, you can do the second hit. There is a gap. There you go. Takes a bit of practice. Once you see the rock and picking up the rock, you can get into the rhythm it and punish it every time. Because if you have the string rock, it's minus four. You do have like some pushback, so it's not the end of the world if you let it rock. Um, he also has this string, but the last hit is unsafe. So you can get with a poke. Um, some characters, I don't know, I don't think Robocop can reach. But if you're Jackie with your nine frame uh, forward three, you can actually punish this string very easily. But you don't even have to. You have the meter, free punish right there. So that is a kind of a gimmicky string because it doesn't really, again, not a lot of damage, doesn't really lead into much. And it's just. You're just better off like just waiting or just blocking in general and just moving back to get some of that space and force Rambo to come in if you have the life lead. One thing to note about Rambo's Savage Slide is that there's actually different variations to it. So, so we're gonna have a normal Savage Slide, minus 12 on block. Um, there's gonna be other characters with better punishes. Robocop doesn't have the best range to punish it with, but he still has his 10 frame forward three. We can get a really clean combo or just a quick combo for quick damage. Um, but with this, Rambo can actually move back with regular Savage Slide. So you see, he just moves back right there. He is minus, minus 28. If you have a fast reversal, you can 100% punish this. Once you see him roll back like that, this is actually not safe at all. You can use a projectile with Robocop as well. Or just go in and take your turn back because he's just he's really negative. So Rambles will either do this move to get some space back or just a regular in case you're expecting the, um, the regular slide. But again, it's just like not really, it's really gimmicky. I feel like it's not worth it to do, especially if you have a projectile. They can just do a reversal. And even then, um, he also has another version of the slide. Where, let me see if I can get full screen. You can actually extend the reach of the slide. I'm gonna have to move a little closer. There you go. And it actually makes, if you see in the bottom left, more negative on block. So instead of just a regular punish, I couldn't punish with uh, four three. You can even do four two one two as a crushing blow. So if you see them do this, it's even more punishable. So if you see, you see them do it full screen, even then also like minus 32, you have more time to get in. Uh, might, might not be able to get a punish now with Robocop, but it's, it's still like something you're not really, not really worth to do. Like it can go on the projectiles, but as you see, it has startup, like he has a run animation. And once you block him, like, okay, now you can use it. Cause it's not really, it's not as scary to get hit by this as like 
other like other attacks in the game during neutral so but once you recognize this make sure you do a reversal to punish it or if he does a regular do a full combo um it does take a bit of practice because it does have a block stun that's like kind of deceiving like a long block stun that you just have to get used to but it is unsafe rambo should not be doing this uh, often so now we're gonna have rambo shoulder roll so it's just a regular roll actually has three different uh distances you can do it hold on let me just take them off block the close version regular and a far version and he has up to you know three different options you can just let it rock over there it is unsafe on block this is gonna be like minus Yeah, minus 11. Um, now, he also has the improvised version, which is going to be an overhead. And this is actually safe on block. It is zero. It can also be up to... Let me see if I can get it. There you go. Like, pretty good range. Uh, sometimes it can get up to the uh, plus one. If it's hit on the later active frames. But that's just. He has to spend one bar of meter. One bar of offense meter. As you see like plus one. On block. And oh, and lastly. He can actually. Cancel it to return a neutral. Uh, not a lot of recovery. So look. One defense bar. Just to cancel. Just get out of the corner. This move is actually really good. If you want to reposition. Get out of the corner. Or like just like move around a lot because this move actually has a really good crushing blow so i actually have this paired up with uh snare trap so the crushing blow of this is because you can just go through it get a counter hit with it so once he gets the counter hit oh, hold on full combo punish Look at that, 38%. So you can see, this is one of the reasons why I use this variations. Because once he gets that punish, especially with Snare Trap, it's just huge damage, especially as Fatal Blow. Oh, I messed it up there. But... It's, it's just a lot of damage, so you just got to be careful uh, getting hit by this, or just throwing projectiles. Because if he goes through you... Like that, that's actually just a game winning uh, combo right there. So you just gotta really be careful. But one thing I will say with this um, shoulder roll is that it's not entirely invincible. As you see, like even if it can go through some projectiles, like in some frames, at some point during a roll, you are vulnerable to attacks. So it's very variable. Like sometimes you go through it. I don't even know if I can time it as well. It was very specific like that that you can go through it but if you have a projectile that can reliably hit him while he's on the ground he shouldn't really be doing this in neutral this is more of like to check you doing rolls a lot and also let me see if i can switch to ram uh to robocop real quick he's still pretty vulnerable once he enters the roll because look at that it's a punish even if it's a cancel if they read you even just a regular. Oh, I just messed up with that there. But if you get a mid that can check you, that is a punish. Yeah, you, you don't want to mess it up like I'm doing right there because, again, if he gets the crushing blow, that's a lot of damage. But if you do a regular, if he does that meter, does that meter, you can just block. If you would just be patient, if you're just defensive against Rambo, if he does something unsafe, punish. Um, the only thing I will say is that this is safe, so if he's using meter to spend it just to keep himself safe. Only if you make it like a 
even like there's a read a flawless block but that is a very hard read you don't really need to do that just make him spend the meter if you have to block just wait because it's not really a mix-up and even then uh, he's still vulnerable if he's rolling a neutral move out of the way and punish it but just just when you see the patterns all, all dependent on the opponent and how they use the, the shoulder roll you missed the grab but you can actually just grab them some weird interactions like that but yeah that's that's the basic of shoulder roll not too overwhelming once you know the the patterns and distances of what he can do and his options lastly i'm going to talk about rambo's leopard crawl this is a stance he get, gets into where he gets really low to the ground has a couple different options so you grab, he has a parry. So this is a, this is actually a legit grab. You cannot block this. And I'm gonna just shoot the parry real quick. You can parry low attacks and low pokes with the same animation. Um, so this is where again one of the more like offensive tools you can use because you cannot block the grab. Hold. It is a legit grab. And the thing is, uh, what people like to use with this variation of Rambo is that you use a tick grab. So you cannot really interrupt this. You can make a trade if you have like a seven frame normal, but people love to use this. Because instead of finishing the string, you can go for the command grab and mix the opponent up. But, you know, however, even if they try to, they can, they can actually just jump the command grab, which then they have to use the quick slash. But let me just make him not block, but look how much damage this actually does. This is, uh, hold on, did I see it? Yeah, 3%, 3% for trying to jump that. Um, so if you can really just jump against uh, this, this attack, See if I can make myself record. They say I block this. You can go for the jump. If you go right over Rambo, he actually cannot turn around during his level crawl shine. Like he has to immediately cancel. So if you catch him and they don't cancel immediately, that is like a free free punish. But you have to make sure it hits them on the ground because your regular attacks will whiff on Rambo. And you got to be careful doing this. Um, just even like a regular punish. Because he can parry you. Let's say you go for attack. He can parry you. And mix you up. But again, you know, it's done a lot of damage. So you're not really getting, getting a huge punish. Uh, just for doing that. Just for throwing it out or doing risk stuff. And again, like... If you block, he could even do a short hop to get a punish that way if you really want to be a bit safer. But I just feel like... Just this mix-up. If, if you have to get hit, I'd say it's pretty worth it to even just... Even getting hit just to get distance if you're zoning him out. Or even just going for the jump. I might even have to do a short hop. You might have to time the short hop. Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to get the short hop down. There you go. But you, you do have to practice this if you're going for the short hop because it is a specific timing. But again, look at that. Free punish just for reading that. So compared let's say uh robocop may have gotten a 18 percent uh punish but just imagine as a koro or jackie that if you were to just jump that you, it'd be just an easy punish and i will show example of like better punishes on the leopard crawl but it's just 
I just feel like it, it, even though it's a mix up, it just doesn't do that much damage to make it really um, that much threatening. That's the way I feel. Um, if you really have to jump, just jump. He might catch you uh, during some some sequences, but again, it's not a lot of damages. Like honestly, you can really get away with playing risk your risk reward with Rambo because Rambo's risk reward is not generally not in his favor. Um, with with the, with some of his mix-ups. So the three specials I just shown, um, you Rambo cannot equip them all at the same time. Uh, he can only equip one of them. So if he's going for shoulder roll, he cannot use leper crawl or savage slide. And if he has savage slide, he can't use either, either one and, you know, vice, vice versa. So if you see one of the special moves, you don't have to worry about the other two. So you, you just stick to one specific strategy on that special move that he has, whether it be leper crawl, savage slide or shoulder roll. And then you can adjust based on his other abilities so uh, in that regard he is pretty limited depending on what tools he has equipped he can't really use multiple and you just again you just adjust for that look at the loading screen if you see what special moves he has and adjust accordingly so now we have Rambo's commando strings and that is a an ability that he can have equipped to give him some extra strings so instead of this string he has a, an addition is the command grab. Force forward one string is also a command grab, and now his back three is an extended string that can lead him into a restand. Um, I think I think with the exception of his back three um, restand, I think that's the only uh, good one. I think the rest, these are really pretty gimmicky because it doesn't really give you a lot of damage, and you can easily defend against it. And if you make even a read on it, it's just a lot of damage that you can punish Rambo with. So, we should do record. Just a regular. And then record the command grab version. And just go ahead and play it back. And you can do this for like a lot of characters where you just, um, you're on a defense. And you want to guess between uh, two strings or multiple strings. Look at that. So this is sort of a rhythm. So if you OS it or option select it, standing two will come out and it'll be your turn. It'll still be a punish. And you'll be able to punish the regular grab too. So you see? Or if you could just do a little quick duck, if you read the command grab to come out, you can still flaws block it, and it's minus seven, so you won't lose much for losing it. But again, you read that, and it's just huge damage. Um, just, just, just to punishing that command grab, and again, like if you, if you get grabbed by it, or if you just keep blocking, you don't really. It's just not a big deal. Hopefully, oh, we'll just do the next one. There you go. 8% just for losing it. And he doesn't really get that much freedom advantage. He has to like immediately attack you. And you is similar to the other string as well. He does the full string with the command grab version. You let go of block quickly. It does take practice. But again, like these are just very unsafe options for Rambo. There you go. But that's, you get the general idea. It's like super unsafe options for Rambo and you can sort of OS it. You just have to really practice it on blocking it. 
and letting go of block at the right time or blocking the last hit of the string. There you go. But I don't even think I don't even think you even need to do that because I just feel like it's just so so little damage. Just just for blocking, and you get a full combo punish if you uh, block the full string. So, and if you get hit, let me just reset this real quick. If you get hit by the, he's only plus ten. So he doesn't really get something guaranteed unless you're in the corner. So if you're in the corner. He can pressure you. Oh, the wrong string. So you should just check with the mid. So you really got to be careful. I think that's the only thing that's pretty good about this. Um, this string is that his corner game does get better with this restand. Because there is no wake up option and you have to deal with his offense up close. But that's about it. You shouldn't really get uh, worry too much about the other two uh, grab strings. A common use for Savage Slide is using it for a mix up between his overhead strings and his lows. So let's see. So let's create one sequence. Let's put this to random hit and playback. See, you can block that. So you, you generally just want to keep blocking overhead before and react to the low because it's very slow. And just do a quick punish like that. You know, alternatively, they might just do do the whole string or the low. And again, you just keep just react to the low. You can block overhead and react to the low. It is, it's not real. So they get, don't get caught by these mix-ups. They're just mostly gimmicks. And just knowledge checks, like I said. Whether, whether or not you know it's low or overhead. People will get caught of it because they forget that this is an overhead. And they just get hit by it. Because it becomes a combo. But just be aware of that. So one of Rambo's more unique moves is his Claymore. And he just places the trap right in front of you, or um, right in front of him, and it primes itself for about five seconds, give or take. Depends when you start it. Um, the special thing about this is actually an unblockable. So, if uh, Robocop were to just move forward, he sees unblockable, or if he moves forward and then like holds block. It's not possible. So, this is a very, very interesting special move, uh, special property. He can also amplify it to make it invisible. Um, but I don't think, I think if you're, if you're aware of where it's placed, it shouldn't be like too hard. It's, again, it's like really gimmicky. Um, but th the thing is, the drawback with using this Claymore is that. Rambo can actually trigger it himself and hurt himself um, with the Claymore. So because it launches, it can launch for a combo and it's kind of, I don't even think you can jump over this. I mean, you can at a specific angle, but if you're, if you're too close, it just blows up on, uh, on contact. But even then, like I moved a little bit and it still hit me. Um, but this has just a lot of recovery. So the way you fight this 
is if you have a teleport, you can teleport behind Rambo and force him into the Claymore to get like a special combo on him because some moves do have pushback and it can push him into the Claymore. Um, you can also use projectiles that pull him into the Claymore like Scorpion Spear or Kano Pull. But just generally, I mean, it takes a bit of setup like you have to not be moving and worst case scenario you just wait out the five seconds because what rambo's rambo strategy when he plays the claymore is to use his zoning tools to keep you away to try not jump i i don't recommend trying to jump unless you're like in a desperate situation where you know you have like one percent health like one one percent health and you can't afford any chip or then I say go in, but if you don't, use the most chip you can like really take, depending on what loadout he has. In those five seconds, it's the recovery. And then, so yeah, that's about like 5% you, you can theoretically lose within those five seconds, but then he has to set it up. Like he has to either hit you and set it up or set it up in neutral and then basically tests you if you're gonna punish it or not but it's just a lot of recovery because you can really like um just hurt him from just doing a neutral do not let rambo do this in neutral because once he gets the claymore he definitely has the control behind it if you don't have the tools to beat it like you just, just walk up have strings that can push you out of the claymore's range also keep it in mind the claymore is still behind you and try just, just fight your way out of it if not use projectiles to check him if you're in a zoning war, war and then wait a bit if you're full screen placing the claymore is so risky because he has nowhere to move back so if you don't let him move back or move forward while he's moving back the screen won't move so just stay full screen if he places it because you won't have any room to move and then he'll blow himself up with the claymore or have no room so you just keep moving back and wait it out um it's, it's like i said it's very very gimmicky it's, it's pretty hard to actually set up and very specific matchups uh have trouble dealing with it a, a lot of pe a lot of characters in the game and a lot of their abilities can actually you know deal with the claymore pretty well and even like hurt rambo really bad for it so i i don't think I think by the time people have learned how to play uh, a bit of Rambo, they don't really use the Claymore because, like I said, it's just really gimmicky. And I feel like uh, you're more, as a Rambo player, you're at risk of getting yourself hurt more than the actual opponent. So matchups that I think are pretty hard for Rambo, uh, definitely right off the bat, I do think Jade is like one of his hardest matchups. Um, just the glow itself does so much for her and can negate all of almost all of rambo's tools i don't think she, she can't go through claymore but she can go through whip whip trip uh the snare trap and uh the log traps and the hunting bows and m60s like she can just go through all of it so already that's like half of uh rambo's tools negated and just up close jade can like force him at a specific range with the pushback of her normals and strings and it's just i feel like generally it's just really hard for rambo to get uh get his offense started against jade and he can't even zone her out so even if he has a life lead he's, he still f is forced to fight jade up close because of the the glow negating like a lot of uh her tool set or his tool sets i should say and uh garris is also i feel like it's a really good matchup for, for him for uh it's really bad for rambo i feel he can, he can easily punish the whip trip, which is his general like zoning tool with sand trap because it's just negative enough where you can do a reversal sand trap, punish him and he's right in his face. And again, just way better offensively. Uh, Garrus has a six frame uh, down one, which can like punish Rambo's uh, minus seven strings and just better offense. Like honestly, you can just, <laughs> as the Garrus player, you can even mash on, on Rambo and it's really hard to condition Garrus to stop because again Rambo has weak punishes and it, sometimes his offense is very he has to rely on staggers if he can't if you're just punishing his flawless blocks with flawless blocking attacks and such like that um but I this matchup is pretty bad for Rambo and I also think Cabal is also really bad 
Um, a, a lot of Cabal's game plan with his uh, air gas is just jumping. It's just a lot of jumping, a lot of reward, and risk reward uh, with Rambo is just not in his favor. If he goes for mix ups or even like tries to pressure Cabal. It's just really hard to keep him out of the air. Um, he can jump over a lot of the traps. He can jump over a uh, whip trip. He can be suspended in the air for a little bit with air saw and punish Rambo for using a uh, whip trip. And it's just such a hard matchup. And again, that offense is just way better. He can just jump a lot. He can um, reliably push back a Rambo, force him at a certain range. And I just feel like even, even Rambo's like tools it's just not enough to stop him or condition him from jumping. I, I feel like his anti-airs are also not... It's not the best. He's not, he's not really known to have good anti-airs. So, Cabal can just do whatever he wants. Um, and generally, any character that can teleport will beat out a Claymore. Claymore loadout, so... Uh, I don't think Rambo players even play with Claymore at all, just because so many characters can deal with the Raiden, Scorpion, Cetrion, Fujin... Even like Kano, Kano can pull you into the the Claymore. Um, but those three are really the main ones I think that are pretty bad that I know are pretty bad for Rambo. Um, I feel like every cast can fight him. I don't, I I can't think of a favorable matchup for Rambo if I'm honest. Um, because I, I just feel like it. Just not a lot of just not a lot of damage, you know. I just feel like a lot of characters like Coral can just go in and uh forward two can just control so much space and it's hard to actually punish him. If Koro has the cat, he can just punish a uh, Rambo for even like trying to zone. And it's just it's just stuff like that. Like I, I I'm not sure, maybe maybe uh a Rambo will come out of nowhere, come up with the best tech, but so far I, I do think he's definitely like one of the weakest characters in the game. But uh, but yeah, that's that's generally what I think. Maybe there'll be more development later on, but I, I do think these are like his top three worst matchups. So that's basically my guide on Rambo. As you see, he's a very, he's a pretty gimmicky character. Definitely relies on just the, the lack of knowledge of what you can punish and what, you know, is even like good to do in certain matchups. But once you're aware of them, you'll definitely have a better time of fighting Rambo. And, you know, just have more patience on getting in on him and punishing his offense as well. Um, he has to just do, he has to really adapt to the player 
and just play around of what they know and don't know. Um, because I do feel like there's definitely better characters that have better uh, offensive tools and defensive tools. And just more reliable damage. But see see if it's, all this works for you. Um, there are some abilities I didn't cover just because I feel like it does not really worth covering. Because it's just very basic, very different alterations and added special moves like MRE to give him health is not that good, I feel. Compared to like his other abilities. But, but see what works for you, see what you encounter, and I always encourage everybody to get in the lab too to practice the punishes that you see in this video. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm sorry to talk about the three Rambos that may struggle after people watch this video, but I'm with you guys. I still love playing Rambo and uh, I'm not playing Garrus. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to conclude this guide. Uh, like I said, I hope these tips helped you in fighting Rambo in the future. Be sure to leave a comment down below to see what you think. Is there anything I missed or any new information that you've encountered that I haven't covered in this video? But be sure to just keep playing MK11 because it's still an awesome game. If you still play Rambo, whether you play Robocop, Garrus, Scorpion, doesn't matter because this game is still incredible and there's still so much strategy and um that no one has explored yet so make sure you follow dash fight for more character guides and again i hope you all have a great day thank you